Hi, I'm a Harley. And I'm an Indian. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. Not cool, bro. Come on. No, no, dude. It's cool. It is totally cool. Seriously, just realize. It's cool. It's cool. That's some serious cultural appropriation you got going on. No, no cultural appropriation over here. Look, we paid off all the appropriate cultures so we can just appropriate the shit out of this name. It's totally cool. Well, that's just insane. No, seriously, it is totally cool. If anything, a few of those major league football teams and baseball teams could probably learn a little from us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't know about that, man. Well, here at Indian, we create new and exciting motorcycles, stuff that you cannot wait to ride, stuff that is just bleeding edge, like things that you have not seen in the market at all. It is totally original design, and you are going to love it. New and exciting, are you serious? Have you seen your Indian Chieftain? Well, you might as well have just called that the Street Glide. I mean, you guys could not have ripped that off any more than if you just sat there with tracing paper and like drew on like one of our Street Glides and put it out there. The Indian Street Glide, no, 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 let me tell you, we didn't trace anything. The Chieftains, those things, things are designed from scratch from the ground up. They are amazing bikes. Look at that chief. I'm sorry, was the Indian Dyna chief too long of a name to put on the side of that bike? What? A Dyna? Never even heard of it. Guy, you're just making words up now. This is absolutely silly. I don't have to sit here and take this from you, all right? You are not the original motorcycle company, all right? That company went under years ago. Your name has been passed around more times than a Vegas hooker. What are you today? Polaris? What are you gonna be tomorrow? Honda? Who knows? And let's be honest, when you're looking for something special, you're gonna come to us and you're gonna get some of our limited run bikes. We make like CVOs, we, we just did the Diablo and we keep those limited to 1,500 bikes worldwide. That is how you do a limited number of bikes. We also do limited runs, but with the Challenger Elite and the Chieftain Elite, we only make 150 per bike worldwide. 150, are you kidding me? And while we're on the topic of bikes, yeah, nice horsepower boomer. Nothing like getting a $50,000 bike that can barely tickle 100 horsepower. What the hell's wrong with you guys? You think you might wanna put a big boy engine in one of those bikes sooner or later? Can't wait until 2027 rolls around and you finally get the 171 that's gonna make 99 horsepower off the floor, you know what I mean? You guys are just absolutely silly with your bikes. You gotta calm down. Hey man, hey, there is no reason to be rushing to anything when you've got a nice paint job like we've got on our bikes. You want to take it slow so everyone can see you. That's what we're doing. We don't need 120 horsepower. We don't need 130 horsepower. We're looking good as we're rolling the neighborhood. What's up? Half of your fan base is just waiting for Indians to go away anyway, and they're waiting for Polaris to just bring back victory, which let's be honest, with their commitment to you and with the amount of times the Indian name's been handed off, like, seriously, you might want to get an STD test. You've been passed around so hard. The, the way you guys just keep getting passed around, let's be honest. Victory's coming back in 2026, and everyone's going to be much happier for it all together. Victory, they're not coming back. You Now you're just being mean. Sir, you guys got to cut STDs. No, no, no. We, we have always been safe, and we, we are very, very dedicated to uh, safe selling of our name brand. We're, we're, the, we're the bike you want to get, trust me, and we'll be around for a long time. Oh, hey guys, I couldn't help but hear you guys debate on bikes and which ones had better price, better horsepower, better reliability and all that. Could I join in the conversation? I got my Goldwing parked right outside. I'd love to join in. Oh, I hate, I hate that, that guy. guy. That guy sucks. All right, look, let's just put our differences aside for now. Let's me and you, how about we go out, we, we go get a couple Bud Heavies, maybe, uh, you know, some Marlboro Reds, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll listen to a little Fog Hat, and we'll just chill at the bar. How's that sound to you? 
yeah, I don't know about all that, but I did bring my vape pen and my Paps Blue Ribbon, and I got a couple MP3s going of this band that you've never heard of, but trust me, they're cool, until people have heard of them, and then they're just sellouts. Why don't we go do that? Was it, was it something I said? What, what? No. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, it was just kind of fun messing around and uh, playing with the green screen and all that fun stuff. Oh, the green screen. Yeah, it's always fun to mess around with that and do fun things. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It's really just kind of like, I don't know, riffing on the old uh, Mac and PC uh, commercials that were out there. If you like it, let me know down below. There's plenty of other bike companies we can do this with and I'll be happy to mess around with it. So yeah, that's what I've got today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with those two dorks you know sitting in a bar trying to tell you that the Indian or the Harley are the best bikes on earth and it's better than the other one and it's going to put one out of the business and whatever the hell they're like yammering about this time. They love this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.